Hello everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Toro Messages. We're going to be doing a general read for the Virgos. I already meditated on the energy. I already shuffled the cards. You already know what it is. So let's just begin. Yeah. See what's going on today for Virgos. Look, already starting. Already starting. Okay. First little chunk we got. Burnout. Unclean health. Not today, Satan. Okay, there may be somebody who, who is feeling a little burned out, right? They have, they feel like they, their health isn't all there. You may need to go get a checkup. You may be overworking yourself. There may be um, some entities. I'm not gonna lie, with not, not today, Satan. There may be some entities that want to cause you burn health. That want to cause burn out. That want to cause you bad health here. With the radio wave, somebody showing love. Rick and Morty adventures. Sacrifice will pay off in time. Words are spell work. This is what I'm saying. Lies can't let go. Calling in soulmate. Mm, 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 mm. This is what I was saying. Bear witness. Okay. So, like I said, with the um, not today Satan, I feel like there may be some type of entity. Something. I'm going to have to clear the air on that and I protect my home, but there is some type of entity here that wants to cause you some type of burnout here. They're, they're willing to sacrifice. They know that their sacrifice will pay off in time. They are willing to sacrifice to put in for it some type of spell work here. Right? They're willing to sacrifice for their spell work to, for it to pay off in time, to cause um, burnouts for you, cause unhealth, bad health for you. This person cannot let go. This person cannot let go, okay? With the showing love, I feel like this person may be in your energy. This may be um, some type of adult figure with the Rick and Morty situation. This could be a parent child, uncle child, grandfather child situation, older adult, younger um, person situation. This person started off with showing love or they're in your energy, showing love right now, acting like they love you, acting like they are family. But with the radio wave, here, I feel like this person has some type of connection to you, right? They um, may, with the radio wave, be able to um, speak energetically through you, to you, telepathically, or um, give you messages in some sort. They have some type of connection here with you that they are able to send spell work towards you, send um, this <laughs> sacrifice spell work, send black magic towards you, right? And with the calling in soulmate, mm, Hmm. I feel like maybe this is you and your energy. You're like, not today, Satan. I'm calling in my soulmate. I'm letting this situation go, right? Fuck your spell work. It's all lies. I don't know. Take it as it resonates here. Take it as it resonates. You just keep moving on. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I don't like that energy, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't like that energy. Can you tell us what's going on for Virgos here. What's going on for Virgos? Okay. We got movie scene. Hmm. Then we got refuse help. Secretly married. Met someone new. Meet someone new in the summer. Movie scene. Refuse. Secretly married. Meet someone new in the summer and then we have parent here at the bottom Ooh, and past fling wanted to show up too um okay this is about for virgos this movie scene secretly made refuse help in the summer meet somebody new That makes it easy with this <laughs> walking away abandoned car and t work this was somebody um somebody here virgo you may have been working with this person in some way in a group co-worker at work um this could have been a friend uh take it as it resonates right with this movie scene and refuse help secretly married this it sounds like a drama see, scene right one of those drama movies where uh somebody wants to come help the person who uh, the one person in the office that isn't liked you know what i mean but this person refuses help in some way 
and then they fall in love but they figure out that somebody is secretly married or they have some secret drama hidden in the background right in the summer meet somebody new i felt like you might have met this person in the summer it could have felt like a movie scene but then they started refusing your help they started refusing teamwork with you and you had to walk away from this person because you figured that they were secretly married or the, <laughs> take it as it resonates y'all take it as it resonates okay we're moving on moving on moving on oh we go keep it pushing what do we have for virgos please what else do we have for virgos Okay, that's a lot. I'll just take those. We got Divine Masculine, Go Outside, Climax, Hidden Kids, Shadow Work, Choosing Ignorance, 1111, Right Path. Uplift you, okay? Okay, this is some of the energy I was tapping into yesterday. There's some divine masculine here who wants to keep showing up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just start. There's some divine masculine you need to go outside, right? Spirit's telling you to go outside, divine masculine. Or there is um, a divine masculine you're going to meet when you go outside, right? This person may have some hidden kids. Hidden kids, climax, right path, choosing ignorance, shadow work, right? Okay, okay. Virgo here too. What can we tell them about this divine masculine who has hidden kids? No antique action? What a contradictory. What do you have about this divine masculine with hidden kids? Okay. Teamwork again. This could be that same energy from that that past guap, that secretly married person with the karmic here. Okay, okay, we're just gonna start. There's some divine masculine here who may have, oof, with the go outside, they may have gone outside their marriage here. They may have gone outside their marriage, looking around, hoeing around, you feel me, taking action in other, way, in other places, all while hiding children, okay? The climax came, there was a climax in the situation. Maybe some um, information came out and you realize what path with the 1111 right path, what path you need to choose from this person because they are what? Choosing ignorance. Maybe you were choosing ignorance going with this person in the past, um, going outside with this person in the past, having some kind of climax with the divine masculine. Maybe you were choosing energy and not working on yourself, not fault, um, not working on your shadow side, right? That maybe this could have been an ego thing with shadow work, right? Maybe you could have been messing with a divine masculine knowing that this wasn't the right, knowing what the right path was, and you were just choosing to be ignorant about the situation here. But this person got hidden kids, child. If you hiding your kids, okay, let me not. <laughs> let me not, okay? They got incoming messages. This person may be um, reaching out to you at this point, but this detour, not the right time. This person was, it, it was a detour for them. I feel like, they want to tell you it's not the right time. We got to try it again later because they heighten stuff. They choose an ignorance, choosing their shadow side, choosing to go outside and do whatever while hiding kids. With a wifey hubby, they could be hiding a whole ass marriage. You you hiding kids. We don't know what you hiding, right? With this karmic, this could be a karmic person here with your situation. But I feel like you had to say no to taking action, say no to going outside and having some climax here with this person because. Uh, child it's too much here this person it's just too much we're moving on i'm just gonna move on <laughs> what else do you have for our virgos please what else do you have for our virgos please what can i tell them what can i tell them oh there it is Ooh, there it is we got gatekeeper to represent some type of security we got ghost we got 11 111 present moment we got showcase talents a shame okay we got you are my sunshine we got action we got end of a tough cycle and tough times here hmm 
Hmm. Okay, presently, in this present moment, what 111, you could be going through some type of tough time, right? But Spirit's telling me that the actions you are taking is going to end out this tough cycle you are experiencing right now. With the you are my sunshine, a gatekeeper, and a ghost. Maybe you guys, okay, take it as it resonates. I'm not here to scare you. I'm not here to make up some shit, okay? I'm reading the cards. Maybe you have a ghost here. You feel me? Somebody who passed away, who um, with this gatekeeper card is looking over you. Like security, I heard. Oh, shit. Oh, this is going to make me cry. <laughs> You have some type of ghost gatekeeper looking over you, protecting you in the spiritual realm, in this present moment. So even though you may be going through this tough time, somebody sees you as their sunshine, worth protecting, worth holding on to. Right? This person wants you to take action on showcasing your talents. They said they see you. They've been here the whole time. They've been watching you go through these rough times. In this present moment, they are with you. They still presently see you as somebody they love. They see you as your sunshine. They see you as somebody they need to protect. From the spiritual side, that is beautiful. Okay? They're, they're urging you to take, take action on showcasing some type of talent you have. I feel like that once you showcase this talent, that you will be able to end some type of cycle that you are in. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I pray to my spirit guides. I pray to my spirit guides, my ancestors, and source energy every day. And to really see the cards and really resonate with somebody having a, a, a ghost looking after them like a, a gatekeeper. Security. They telling you to stay on your grind, baby girl. Showcase these motherfucking talents. Take action in this present moment. A shade. This will help bring it into a cycle. I love this energy. I love this energy. I love it. 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 Let's let's keep going. Let's let's hop over to Virgos. Y'all got me excited. Oop! Here we go. That was a nice little chunk. I don't know, y'all. We just go take it and start talking. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what I do. All right. Take a leap. Cash up. Rise, goddess. Off top. Take a leap, take a, take a leap, cash app, rise goddess, creative force. Maybe some of y'all are going to some entrepreneurship here. Maybe we got some goddesses trying to rise up, trying to find some way to shine and show the people that they are this goddess. They are worth taking a leap into something and getting rewarded here with it, with this cash app, with this creative force. It could be something creative that you are working on to help you rise, goddess. Oh, and then we got cheater. Uh-huh. And then we got looking for fun. We got hunting and hunting. Huh. And then we got chaser. Then we got pretending to be dot dot dot. Cosmic thought. Lost with the moon here. Can't let go again. Words are spell work again and lies here again. So some, tap it into some of that same energy. This person is heavy in your energy, just like the moon going through phases, right? Okay, okay. We got a lot of energy here. We got a lot of cards here. So I'm just going to start talking and, you know, take it as it resonates. This is a general reading. Lego, Lego, okay? Like I said before, you may be. You may be thinking of something, right? You may be thinking of some way to bring in some type of money, to take a leap on something, to gain some type of money or help yourself rise in some type of situation here. With the hunting and the haunting card again, I feel like that is representing. You may have some, you may have some ghosties around, Virgo. I can't, I can't make it up. <laughs> there may be some ghosty spirits hanging out. Uh, I feel like these, these ghosty spirits, uh, they want to, they want to help you take a leap. They want to help with your creative forces with this cosmic thought here there may be some type of meditation astral protection sleep direct download dream messages you could be getting from the divine or have some thought that is huge right uh, a, a huge idea a cosmic thought that these ghosts some something's hunting haunting you trying to help you create some type of some type of leap forward, just looking for fun, something fun here. P 
pretending to be and chaser and cheater. Pretending to be chaser and cheater. Okay, spirits. I feel like okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this another way, but I feel like that can represent you uh, spirits trying to help you be more creative, so you don't have to cheat or chase after or pretend to be like anybody else, right? You can find something with this cosmic creative force, something inside of you, this creative force that will help you move forward. With the can't let go, lies, words are spell word. Again, I feel like I can read this a different way, okay? There may be somebody here who was a cheater. This person has now become a chaser to the goddess, right? <laughs> to you in the situation. They're out here. They still can't let go. They're out here trying to do words of spell words and they telling lies about you, right? But in this, but in the same time, they're just looking for fun here in the situation with you. This person that is a cheater, they probably have a huge ego. So when you turn them down, they did. They then became a chaser, right? Because they don't want to lose you. They feel lost without you. I feel like this person sees you as this creative force that they need to take a leap on with this cash shop rise goddess you could be already rising already getting money already successful they already see you as this creative force and now they're haunting haunting you right they're staying around in your energy they're lingering around trying to get what they can pretending to be <laughs> pretending to be uh pretending to be something okay just like the moon this person goes through phases they go through many faces and they can pretend to be anybody but i feel like they're just looking for fun their ego got them caught up with you now they chasing you they see you as this creative force they being haunted by your success because they can't let go and child you don't want them uh, okay we're gonna keep on moving we're gonna keep it moving keep it moving Let's see what's coming up for the bird goddess What's coming up for Virgos, please? Life is a maze. No love, no passion. Okay? Virgos, you may be feeling like you're going through a maze right now. You got your head down. You don't know where you're going. Every corner. You may be coming up to a lot of dead ends. You may be um getting turned around right now. You may feel like you have no love, no passion in this present moment. But what? Oh, my gosh. If you are going through a maze, Virgo... If you are going through a maze and you feel like you have no love, no passion in this motherfucking bitch, you are just lost, right? Spirit's telling you it's time to leave. Time to leave some type of situation. 333, gain you alignment in some way. Get alignment. I feel like this broken heart has got you, got you in this uh, life is a maze energy. Got you in this all broken hearted energy. You feel me? feeling like there's no love and there's no passion in the world but that's only because you're still sitting in that situation and it's time to go it's time to find your alignment it's time to be single and independent here right you may be having troubles <laughs> trouble and footsteps you may be having trouble taking those first steps to get out of this maze to get out of the situation to leave you may be having trouble taking those first steps to leave here you may be a single parent here or you may have to leave a parent with the past fling, it may be, um, yeah, some type of past fling that wants some type of judgment here. Okay, okay, we're just going to start because a shay, right? There's somebody here who, huh, they're broken hearted. They're stuck in a situation with some type of past fling here because they may be a single parent. They may not have everything they need to uh, take these first steps, to take the footsteps to leave. They may have trouble being able to leave in this present moment. But it, it's time to leave here. Spirit is telling you it is time to leave. There, your footsteps may be troubled. This, this past may, be tr may feel <laughs> a little troubled to begin with. But I feel like once you leave with the 333, you'll be in alignment here. You'll be able to get over your heartbreaks. You'll be able to become single and independent. It may be a little rocky at first. But you got to get away from this past fling. Even if you got to do it as a single mother, a single father. Right? Because this past fling is in your face. They wanting judgment. They wanting some type of reconciliation here. Or you put judgment on a past fling because they were they had lies. They lied to you. Right? And your ancestors peep this. I feel like your your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels, they're all telling you they see you in this situation. It's time to go. It's time to go. Period. It may be um a little hard at first. 
but I feel like once you leave this situation, you'll be able to come in alignment with that 333 and become that single independent person that you want to be. Okay, Ashe. Look, we got a single parent again. I can't make it up. Single independent parent. What is this about for our Virgos? What is this about for our Virgos? Realign. Gamble. Write about you. Make peace. Freedom, divine love, 888, abundance, money, honey. Y'all, I'm about to time heals. I'm about to lose my shit. I'm about to lose my shit. Okay? If you are a reader, if you have ever done your own tour readings and then something comes out and it just aligns with your whole fucking soul, there's nothing like this feeling right here. And this is why I do it. To help people and to give and spread messages here. And this is a beautiful ass message. And this will be the last one here for our Virgos. And I'm going to end this situation out. You, Virgo. You may have to leave a situation as a single independent parent. You may have to take a gamble to find realignment in your life. To realign yourself with your freedom. Oh my goodness. Virgos, you may have to take a gamble and really go out and realign, leave some type of situation, single, independent, something you, with the right about you, making peace, divine love. I feel like you are have already been manifesting this divine love, right? You you sometimes I'm tapping into some a person who may have wrote about um, finding their peace, and may have wrote about finding their divine love here or they've been with the right about you you've been writing scripting trying to manifest peace trying to manifest divine love trying to manifest where'd he go stop running from me it's trying to manifest money honey abundance in it oh my gosh and the spirit's really telling me once you step out as a single independent parent take this gamble cut your ties with these addictions here you'll be able to realign with your motherfucking freedom you'll be able to then manifest your peace manifest your divine love have this honey money abundance 888 okay you call it like that's what you call it like that about the situation yeah 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 i'm telling you with the 888 like the money cart was running away from me it slid under the table and was running away i feel like this is some type of divine protection you weren't able to manifest and make peace and divine love in a situation that you were in because it wasn't meant for you this was some type of divine protection to get you to the place where you want to be single independent so you put up self-defense for yourself. Take a gamble. Oh my God. Take a gamble and get the fuck away from this energy vampire here. This addiction here that was taking your energy, right? What can we tell Virgos about this freedom? 888, abundance, divine love, peace. We tell our Virgos. Aquarius. We got silent secrets over here. What can we tell our Virgos about the situation? I love you. I hate you. Oh my gosh. This is just something that you need to get away from. Time heals a, heals a broken heart celebration teamwork, right? We'll just stop there, okay? Because this is really representing all of the addictions and things that you have to let go of. You may have been, you may have to be a single parent because somebody cheated on you here, right? They brought in a third party and now you got to gamble and hit, the, hit them with the twos and realign yourself and find your own motherfucking freedom, okay? This person is a friend of me. They love you and they hate you. If they could cheat on you or ruin a whole family relationship dynamic, they ain't shit anyways, okay? This person had a lot of secrets. And on top of that, they were sucking your energy, right? Right? There was just some type of succubus, the succubus with addictions. This could have been an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Take it as a resonance. But with this block, divine protection, return to cinder. It's like this, this was supposed to, this was supposed to happen for you to put up some sort of self-defense because your ancestors, your guides are backing you now they're protecting you returning all types of shit to senders just waiting on you to take that gamble waiting on you to find alignment to your freedom so they can what 
bring in some good news into your motherfucking life. Bring it in some type of celebration. With this new life, birth, you could be birthing literally a new life, or you could be a single parent pregnant right now, and you're going to celebrate having your birth in a peaceful situation with divine love around you from your friends and family, and maybe even somebody else with this 8 to 8 abundance. This is, this is clarifying, like this celebration, this good news coming in for you. When you find your alignment, when you find your freedom, right? And that's what I have for the Virgos. If you resonated here with anything, please give me a like and comment down below. Tell me about your situation. And also, I would like to thank everybody for watching, subscribing to my channel, being here, being my lovelies. I love it. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And know that I am always thankful for you watching. Peace.